Sunday school, and I've always enjoyed it and gotten a lot out of it. I don't kid myself that I'm transforming the lives of the kids that I've interacted with. God only knows what impact I've had on the students. I do know with certainty that Sunday school helps us all learn about the Bible, Christianity, and what Grace Church does. Also, I have without doubt been thankful for the experience. We've laughed and learned immensely over the years. Teaching Sunday school requires materials. We always had paper, pens, markers, and books. Currently, we, we are using a great DVD series that Maggie picked out. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, it's informative, we learn a lot. The kids crack up laughing. It's, it's a really great um, resource. This program in Sunday school requires, this, excuse me, this program in Sunday school does not just happen instantly. It requires planning and money in the budget to pay for it. Pledges help us have a successful Sunday school and godly play program on Wednesday nights. And that's for adults and children. Is it worth it? What do you think? Well, I think it is worth it. Very much so. It's a valuable thing to know that the Ten Commandments come from the, from the book of Exodus found in the Old Testament. We review them and we talk about their meaning. We talk about the, book, the Sermon on the Mount, which is found in, in the Gospel in the New Testament. We review that. We talk about its meaning. Why concern ourselves with these matters? Think about it. I put in here a long pause, so... Long pause. <laughs> okay. One time a United States Senator was asked, Why do you care about the poor? Why do you have compassion for the uninsured? Why do you care about all these different causes? And he said, quite simply, Did you ever read the Sermon on the Mount? I want our children to know the Sermon on the Mount. I want them to know the Beatitudes. You know them. They're the ones that go, Blessed are the pure of heart. For they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. You all know these things, and they're worthwhile knowing them. The concepts apply to all of us, and we should have them remembered so that we can apply them beyond these walls. For all here at Grace Church, see what you can do in your church and in your community to be the hands and the feet of Christ and to serve the lost the last and the least. There are a few things that old and young people can share together. Most activities we do are usually geared for strictly the young or strictly the old. But here we come together. At Grace Church, we come together not as a club or a mutual admiration society. We have gifts that we share together here and we work together. Why? So that we can have the tools and the temperament to do our best for God, and that's worthwhile. We are part of something greater than you and me. Ancora in paro, yet I'm still learning. That's what Michelangelo said when he was in his when, when, he, when he was in his seventies, after many years of doing art, after many years of living. And that brings me back to Sunday school and our Wednesday night program. It's our Christian school. Old and young are invited to learn. We have the blessings of this life, our daily bread, the love of friends, comforts, challenges, good work, and zeal to do it, the wisdom of elders, and the shouts of children. The communion table is not our own, but is open for everyone. Pledge in the spirit of thanksgiving so that God's work will continue here at Grace Church. Thank you for listening.